that, that that's what the agenda in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, just I wanted to introduce uh, our uh, company, uh, Collabnet born in uh, 1999 and uh, you know, so uh, we, we are uh, from the open source community and uh, I think you know, so most of you are aware of uh, Subject and it was released in the year of uh, 2000. It is of Agile in, uh, into the same product in uh, 2009 and uh, we have improved lot of uh, uh, things and you know, so our innovation continued and uh, we, we have done lot of uh, changes in the product. And uh, in 2009, we have acquired a company called Scrumworks Pro. So it's an independent agile product management solution. So where you know, so you can do an entire agile process within the same product. Uh, in 2011, you know, so we have acquired another company called Codation. You know, so Codation is uh, more into an. Uh, you know, so I talk about more in the next coming slide. And also, you know, so we have another product called uh, Collabnet Deploy. You know, so where we solve your uh, DevOps. And also, you know, so I recommend you all to attend, you know, some my colleague session in the noon, you know, so he talks about more on the DevOps. And uh, again, you know, so we take care of, uh, you know, the cloud computing, you know, so we help that organization, you know, so to host with us to take care of your complete development platform. Uh, next, you know, so this is what, you know, so the product I was uh, mentioned uh, uh, here, you know, so we, we have an uh, industry leading solution uh, from Collabnet uh, TeamForge, you know, so where, so it offers you to you know so uh, do a project planning and as well as you know so requirement tracking and configuration management and change management uh, build test you know so release management and as well as you know so dashboard and collaboration and reporting you know so you to do an entire uh, application lifecycle management so i'm sure you know so most of you have uh, you know so come across with the challenges you know so that you face in the uh, you know in your day to day and uh, you know uh, uh, ELM is a discipline and uh, you know so uh, it also you know so uh, addresses uh, the bridge the gap of your uh, uh, silos you know so and also it brings uh, you know all the uh, ELM tools together you know so to achieve your goal uh, and uh, you know so to talk about the capabilities of uh, team forge you know so where it uh, all your uh, data will be kept in a central repository you know so where you can plan ahead of the project and you can uh, you know capture a requirement requirement could be your user stories and you know so your uh, requirements anything and uh, again you know so you can automate your document process within the team forge and uh, you know so we have a collaboration tool called wiki you know so we use internally jsp wikis and uh, and you know so you can uh, do a product conceptualization through wikis and you can communicate it to your developers and uh, we have a discussion forum you know so where you can capture your uh, stand up meetings and uh, other stuff uh, and again, you know, so we do have a support of uh, Agile Scrum and, uh, you know, you can do a continuous integrations with the product. Uh, we uh, predominantly support, you know, so Jenkins and as well as Hudson. And uh, the beauty of our uh, solution is, you know, so we are not tied to a one configuration management solution. Okay, so we do have, uh, you know, so support of uh, Subversion, Git, uh, CVS, Perforce. You know, so if you feel, you know, so if any of your existing investment, you know, so made in, uh, uh, source control or version control tool, you know, you can plug in and play with our product and that's the beauty. And uh, one of the key uh, interesting feature in uh, uh, our product is file releases, you know, so we never know, you know, so whenever uh, we release this, you know, so what is going to that particular release and what is the deliverables that we have done. So that entire history that you can capture in a single place and uh, we, we do have a chain management solution. It could be enhancement request, it could be a defect or it could be uh, file anything you know so that you can automate within the tool you know so it's a complete workflow uh, and you can uh, uh, you know customize that workflow according to your need and this is what you know so we totally uh, uh, provide as a single platform you know so where you can cover up all your uh, requirements you can do a project planning configuration management change management the most important thing is collaboration you know so so that you know so it addresses you know so most of your uh, development challenges uh, moving to the next slide, you know, so uh, we, we have a, uh, you know, so standard web-based uh, interface. Uh, this is how my, uh, our uh, solution looks like. And also we have a, you know, a tighter integrations with your development platform. It could be a .NET or Eclipse, you know, so we provide a plugin, you know, so where uh, you, you can uh, completely automate uh, all the features which is there in the uh, web-based and in, in uh, you know, uh, the IDs itself. And uh, we have a, uh, integrations with uh, HP Quality Center and uh, HP Orchestrator. We have a uh, continuous integrations with Jenkins. And you name any of your uh, tool, you know, so we have a 
open source platform, you know, so where you can plug in with the product and you can uh, play with them. Uh, the next is, uh, you know, so I just I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, so mention uh, one of the case study. Of course, you know, so we have multiple case studies, and uh, I wanted to, you know, so project one. So DSC system, you know, so their problem was they had uh, multiple uh, fracture tools, you know, so they were using a uh, lot of tools, you know, so to do one ELM uh, portfolio, and uh, they have a little man little management visibility. You know, so they did not know, you know, so who is doing what, and uh, they did not uh, have any traceability across the lifecycle management. And uh, our goal was to, you know, so to help them consolidate their IT asset and, you know, so codify their development process so that, you know, so they get the ELM uh, value. So after implementing our solution, you know, so the business value they get was, uh, you know, improved productivity. Improved productivity definitely achieve, you know, so uh, they can achieve through a collaboration platform. And as well as increase productivity, increase productivity, and as well as uh, adopt industry uh, standard best practices. It could be agile, it could be waterfall approach, or it could be iteration. You know, so they can, uh, uh, you know, uh, kick off a project with the template so that you know, so that the everything will be configured for them. They need not to invest a lot of time to create those templates. And then uh, overall, large but not least, you know, so they can agile uh, overall software governance. Uh, what what was the solution and uh, we, we we wanted to highlight you know so who were their uh, competition actually you know so they were uh, invited uh, ibm uh, rational and as well as mks arena and we were uh, considered for you know so cost effective solution you know so they did not uh, had a collaboration platform you know so where they can uh, do entire life cycle management activities and uh, the the result you know so as i said you know so after implementing our solution you know so they have uh, seen the business value it could be a quality productivity and as well as uh, uh, you know uh, the overall software governance so that's about uh, from the presentation slide you know so we had uh, uh, 10 minutes uh, you know so to present our uh, uh, product so if you have any specific questions we are happy to help you and my colleague Venkat, Venkat take care of, uh, you know, he is a product manager for uh, our solution CTF and uh, we, we, we are here to, you know, so help you if you have uh, any questions. Yeah, sure, yeah. It's our solution, okay, so we have given uh, uh, 10 to 15 slots, I mean 10 to 15 minute slots, you know, so to present. So, I will just up my uh, VMware, you know, so to showcase the product. So, it is it's almost done. So, yeah, yeah, I mean you guys can, you know, so visit in our booth, you know, so to see a demo or else, you know, so you can invite us to your uh, organization, you know, so to showcase the product as well. But anyway, so Give me a two minutes, you know, so I will, I think almost my uh, mission is up. I will, uh, you know, so showcase the product uh, in a while. Yeah, I'm running in the local Collaborative tools built as automated at least automation, but they can use the QC defect tracking to bridge back and forth between our product. And uh, we also have integration for Jira, and then uh, we also have integration for uh, folks who want to migrate from Clearcase to uh, our platform to some version of things. You know, we have a tool to migrate those. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear this. Anyway, thanks. Uh, I mean, you can visit our booth. You know, so we will uh, show you the booth. Yeah, just started using it. Just started using it? Excellent. Uh, what I want to talk about today is just a little bit about what Rally does. I was going to demo software for you. Um, we're a web-based application. We are a SaaS company. We have a cloud service. We also offer an on-premise version, if that's important, to you to be able to install it locally. Uh, but basically what we do is we do a combination of Agile lifecycle management, really oriented around Agile process, and then also Agile portfolio management. So we're building in capabilities that 
that allow you to do portfolio management in an agile way, and then also link that to your um, your team level of work. So you can start to see roll ups of team level work and how that fits and applies to your products that you're working on. So we, I think we stand alone in providing that agile portfolio management. It's a nice capability. So I'm going to just talk to this for now. Uh, has anybody here heard of SAFE, the schedule, uh, Scaled Agile Framework? Anybody here of Dean Leffingwell? He's a pretty renowned coach in, in Agile. Anyway, he's, um, Rally's really good about supporting uh, enterprise level deployments of Agile and supporting Agile across multiple distributed sites and lots of teams, and also at the product management level, program management level, as well down to the team level. And our, our system really supports this, this idea of SAFE really nicely, so I'll just use this to demo for now. If you guys can see this, it's probably going to be really hard. And you can pick up one of these at our booth as well. But imagine each one of these little ladders here is a team, and they're doing Scrum, and they're doing Agile, and they have a backlog that they've implanted in iterations, and they work out, they're working on their iterations. Um, and that's great that we support just basic Agile um, capabilities, project management. Uh, we also support Kanban. We have a very nice Kanban system built into this. You can either have a Kanban view or a Scrum view, or you can kind of mix and match that as well. Um, but that's really, in, in, in and of itself, that's great. But it, most companies, especially larger companies, are working on programs, and they're also working on major product lines. And I know in India, you guys have, there's a lot of engineering here, a lot of different Agile teams, and a lot of the organizations that we work with. Uh, we have a large user base in, in India, by the way. And so what's really nice about our system is you can have three teams working on a feature. You can roll that up and, and do a feature view as well. This is where you start to get into portfolio management. A program is a customer-facing feature or an architectural feature that is broken down, then down into user stories that individual teams get distributed across teams that they work on. The team has its own view of their work, but now you can also have a view at a program. Level. How's this feature coming along? I have five teams working on this. Our, our system gives you visibility into how all that work is here. Your business has decided on important for the customer. And that's where this program level comes from. But to take it even a step higher, this system calls it ethics, but think about it as just strategic initiatives, maybe a year-long stream of work that will go across multiple releases as features and then a bunch of iterations for engineering teams. You can also have this idea of high-level strategic initiatives or ethics that then you know you build features around and get stories around. And again, you can roll all this up. So in our system, I think I'm going to be able to show it to you right now. But come out of the booth, we can show you how all that data rolls up. And this is really the power of Rally. You can you can manage your, your at a team level very nicely with Rally, but you can roll that data right up and look at it at a program level and at a strategy level and see what your progress is. And so we link the two. It's not a separate portfolio tool and a separate ALM tool. They they are very much linked together, and that data is shared across them. And this is great for large companies, right, who have multiple teams. And I know a lot of uh, Indian companies work with uh, or are part of or work for or work with uh, uh, European or American companies. Because we're a SaaS-based system, all the stuff rolls up together on, in, on our, in our servers. And so anybody throughout the world can look at a project status if they're working on that project together. So maybe some teams in India working with some teams in Finland. Maybe the product management staff is in the Bay Area and in the U.S. They can all look at the data together at the same time. It really helps with coordinating your work across teams. So we call it enterprise level agile. We have an on-prem version. You don't have to go SaaS. I know enough about it. You're crossing work across teams. You really have to have it. So you guys are interested, I'd like you to come and take a look. Maybe you're all through time. So. All right. Thank you, guys.